this is the last day of Central Zone early duck season. Um, I'm just going out by myself. Today's a Friday. Um, I'm going to a spot pretty close to the house. I've been doing a little bit of traveling, you know, two hours, hour and a half to duck hunt. It's kind of nice just to go someplace close. Um, I don't know if there's as many birds around. I've scouted it some. I think there's a few. But uh, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. I'm having one of those days where it's like, I shoot a couple. Excellent. Uh, my last couple hunts were pretty good. My north zone opener went decent with Piper. We killed uh, three apiece. And then uh, my central zone opener with Calvin was amazing. We, we limited in 45 minutes. So that was pretty good. If this hunt isn't like a, a lights out banger, I'm fine with it. If it does happen to be great, I'm fine with that too. I'm going to try and get into water that's just deep enough for floating deeks, so we'll see. I definitely got uh, a nice steamy cup of joe. 12 minutes till shooting time. This bird's around. Hopefully get a little bit of shooting anyway. So the expectations are low. If I shoot a couple, I'm more than happy, so it's good. It's a Friday. It's a weekday hunt. These are just kind of bonuses for me, so I can't complain. two birds that I came for. I'm gonna see if we, and it's still really early, so we'll see if we can get some more. They just trickle in, that's fine with me. I've had some birds working in the spread, um, but since I'm at my pintail limit, I'm not pulling the trigger, unless I can tell for sure what it is. You know, like if it's a teal, or if I can see a green on the green head, or even if it's a shoveler, or whatever, not a pintail. So if I can't tell for sure, I'm not pulling the trigger. And I've had some bigger ducks that were definitely within range. I had some green wings too. I think they're green wings. They're about 10 yards away on my right side. So once the sun comes up, I'll be able to tell a little bit better. But for right now, I'm just kind of playing it safe.
Well, I uh, had a two pack of teal land in the decoys, killed both of them. So now I'm at four. I had two blue wings, the hen pin tail, and a green wing. Um, so. Dang. I was talking, talking to the camera. I had another one come in the decoys. Well, I better pay attention. I only got two left to go till I'm at my limit, so maybe it'll be a good day. <laughs> but the sun has kind of come up to where I can't really... Well, it's in my eyes. I'm facing east into the rising sun, so I'm trying to take a little walk while the sun's coming up. Just because, again, I gotta see really well. Make sure that I'm not shooting something uh, It's a pintail again. Um, <clears throat> so, I decided to go for the walk, check this area out. I haven't really been on it. This year, a lot of new vegetation's come in. So, then when I did, four ducks landed in my decoy spread. So, go figure, that's what you get. Oh well. Here's the ducks I got so far. I've got two blue wings, a green wing, and this is the hen pintail. I wish it was the drake, but that's the way she goes sometimes. So, yeah, anyway. It's only 8 o'clock, or 8.04, so <clears throat> I'm going to hang out for a little bit here, at least till 9.30, and see if I can scratch out one or two more. The more the sun comes up, the more my decoy spread just looks so terrible. I've killed four ducks over it. I've only got two left to go. You know, I kind of, I don't really want to pick up and like move everything right now. So I'm just going to kind of finish out my coffee here. And you know, I've had some luck where they've landed kind of on the water edge here of the spread and killed some. So I only need a couple more. If I can get one or two more to do that, great. Otherwise I'm going to finish my coffee and just kind of probably pick it up and Call four good. Like I said, my, my intent was only to get two. I said I'd be happy with two. And I've got double that. So we'll see what happens here in the time it takes me to finish my coffee. Well, I did have a three pack of mallards come in. Whiffed on those. So that's a bummer. Because that would have been nice to scratch out my limit on a couple of mallards or even get one but that's all right um i do still have my improved cylinder in which is what i use during early season just due to the number of teal and stuff like that um with this decoy spread i don't think they're gonna like finish close because these again like you've seen it the decoys aren't really in water they're kind of in like slush <laughs> weedy slush so they're probably a a little far for an improved cylinder um, but this is the last day of early season so uh, usually late season comes around I'll switch to a modified um, I almost never put a full choke in generally speaking if they're far enough out for a full choke I try and just wait for them to finish but that's just me um, but yeah anyway miss those birds I'm gonna just finish my coffee and uh, once I'm done with that, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up and head out. Um, it's about a quarter after nine right now, so it's not super late. But uh, I got some wood to split back at the house. Maybe do a little bit of scouting. Um, deer season, early muzzle or deer season starts tomorrow, so I want to make sure I'm good and ready for that too. But uh, yeah, I mean, and and this hunt exceeded my expectations. I mean, like I said, I, I came out expecting to kill two birds or hoping to kill two birds. I killed four, so exceeded my expectations. I'm good with that. Um, and hey, in the time I takes from between now and I finish my coffee, something else comes in. Yeah, maybe I'll get another one or two. But uh, if not, I'm totally cool with it. That is the ducks for the day. Uh, I said uh, green wing, two blue wings, and the hen pintail. So not too awful bad. Better than I expected. Well, I gave it to the end of the coffee. Um, nothing else has come in yet. 
It might still land on the spread when I pick it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up. Um, like I said, I got some other stuff to do today. So I'm gonna bounce up out of here. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this episode of Deeply Driven Outdoors. Drop me a comment, hit the subscribe button, you know, hit the like button too, if you liked it. Um, find me on Instagram, just at Deeply Driven Outdoors. I got Facebook too, facebook.com slash Deeply Driven Outdoors. Excuse me. Uh, also, I'm going to be hopefully posting some podcast episodes here pretty soon. I've got a Deeply Driven Outdoors podcast. We only have a couple up there from the bear hunt that we did in Idaho. Um, I'm going to start trying to post regularly, but find that uh, you know definitely on like Spotify. You, know, you can go to like the Anchor site. It's just Deeply Driven Outdoors podcast. So check that out too. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one.